good morning, good afternoon, depending upon what time you're watching it and where you are in the world. Hello, my name is John. Hope you're having a good day today. And today we are going to be learning how to mod Blades and Sorcery. I'll be giving you a step-by-step -step guide and a walkthrough of how to set everything up. If you just got an Oculus Quest 2, this is the channel for you. If you are not already subscribed, please go ahead and do that before the video begins. And yeah, guys, let's get into it. So the only physical device that you will need to be able to mod is you'll need your Oculus Quest, of course. You'll need a, your charging cable, which is a, which has a USB-C port on it, like a little stick this. Luckily for me, I already have a USB-C port built into my laptop because I am on a MacBook Pro once again. If you have a PC, you may have this port built in but if not i'll leave a couple links down in the description that you can use to acquire those um, adapters okay so step one to be able to mod you need to be a developer so i'm going to go through with you right now on the steps you need to take to become a developer on oculus for developers for oculus developers and i will leave a link to this website also in the description down below you're going to come over here you're going to log in or sign up Here's a quick tip too, while you're setting up developer mode on the online, make your life simple and just make the account connect, make the account names to what your current gamer tag is on Oculus or current username is on Oculus. Just make everything match up so that way it's simple as possible for yourself. So once you're on the site and once you're logged in, you're going to follow these steps given to create your organization, to verify your account, and then to also enable developer mode. After completing step one, which is creating a developer account, you need to move on to step two, which is in your phone on the developer app. So you'll need to move on to the Oculus app in your cell phone to complete step two. So what you'll wanna do is that you'll wanna open up the Oculus app. You'll wanna click on devices. Once you click on devices, be sure that your quest is connected to your uh, um, app that's open hit develop mode and then turn on developer mode and that is as simple as it will get to start the process of modding blade and sorcery so once you have the developer mode completely set up onto your system now comes the fun part getting the mods off of nexusmods.com and transferring them onto your oculus quest itself let's get into that So at this point, you're going to set up your account. If you want to pause the video right now, go ahead and do that. Follow the steps given to you on the site itself, and then unpause the video once you're ready to continue. So you should come to a screen, look, a screen looking like this after setting up the account. Come up here to the search bar. Make sure that the mods tab is changed to games and type in blade and sorcery. You have to use the amber sand. So you have to copy the game exactly what it looks like in order to find it. So blade and using the amber sand. I think it's called an amber sand sorcery. Okay. So since you're doing this on the Oculus Quest 2 and not the PC, make sure that you pick the blade and sorcery nomad because that is the proper file that we're using to mod the game. Click on that. And here is a list of all the mods. Oh, there's a bunch of new ones today too. Uh, they have mod for new this week alone. They have most popular items. They have trending items, they have random. For this case, we're gonna do something real simple and we're going to use Thor's hammer. So we're here. One trick that I have learn over time is to always check on the requirements for the mod because there may be other mods you have to install in order to use this so let me sure to check the information out you're going to come up here and you're going to click on download manual download so we get down to here it says you can either use the fast download or slow download the slow downloads fine it's free i would just use that it will give you an option to pay for a premium version of this just hit the little x in the top left corner and exit out of that so hit slow download you don't have to donate so once the timer if you want to donate you should go ahead and donate but if you don't it's fine too okay so the file is downloaded 
and we're going to move on to the next step. Just some recap to go over what, what we have done so far. We've one, set up developer mode, and we've two, set up our Nexus Mods account and also have downloaded a file onto our computer. The next step we're going to take is to unzip the file and we're going to put that unzip file onto our Oculus Quest file system. And I'll show you how to do that right now. In order to transfer the files onto an Oculus device, since I am on a MacBook Pro, I will need to be using an Android file transfer system and software, which I will link down below in the description. All I have to do is download it and then follow along from where we started off from there. Okay, so to begin downloading the files onto your Oculus Quest, you're now, you're, now you're going to connect the Quest to your system. So I'm just going to put this end into here, like this, and this end into here. Make sure that your Oculus Quest is on before, before you plug it in, into your computer. And you will go through the um, check for the Quest. So once the Quest is connected to your computer, it's going to bring up a screen on it that says uh, can you trust this computer? Just hit allow on the device and now your Quest 2 is connected to your computer. Now click on the file, we're going to open it and here it is already unzipped. Here's the zip file, here's our full folder that has been extracted already in my download section. You're going to open up your Quest system. This is all the files that come within the system itself. You're going to scroll over to data, click on data, scroll down until you find warp frog for blade and sorcery, you're going to click on that. And here you're going to double click on files. Files will bring you to your files folder and you in Oculus Quest 2 does have a mods folder already installed for blade and sorcery. You're going to click on that, double click on that, and all you're going to do is drag your file into the folder. Once that's already done, you're just going to close. You're going to close out of the files, and you're going to restart your Oculus Quest 2. This is the best part. Now we've done all the hard work. Now we get to have fun, and hopefully everything runs properly. How we set everything up. So, without further ado, let's hop into the quest and let's get kicking, kiddos. <laughs> I don't know why I said it like that. Let's go. Okay guys, so now we're in Blade and Sorcery. This is how the hammer came out. It looks flawless. This thing looks amazing. Look at that. I'm a god. Just a god here. Okay, let's do some tests with this to see how it came out, yeah? We got a god's hammer and a rat's hammer. Where are they? There's one. That's ridiculous, but now my hammer's gone. Wait, relax, sir. Oh my god. <laughs> Batter up. <laughs> Batter up. Fly. I believe I could fly. I believe I could touch the sky. Wait, relax. Relax, I dropped the hammer. I need a minute. I'm coming for you now. I'm all bloody and shit. I'm coming. Go away. You're next. Hammer. I'm a god. Um, so yeah guys, that was how to install mods in Blade and Sorcery. I appreciate you guys checking out the video today, and I hope you enjoyed and learned from my teachings today. Um, this is all thanks to Papa John, he's my first subscriber, and he asked me to present this video to him today. So this is for you bro. Thank you for the idea, and I'm happy you were also interested in modding Blade and Sorcery. Um, Without further ado, uh, that's it for today's video, and yeah guys, I'll see you next week. 
Don't forget to like this video, comment, share it with any of your friends who are curious about modding Billions First Story as well. And I'll see you guys soon. This thing is sick. Bye.